Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Bay Max. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Okay, so I've had this lying around in my house for a while now. And for a while, I mean like two years. I've always wanted to use this as decoration for maybe for my background or for my room with like full of pins. If you don't know, there's something called shrink dinks, which kind of looks like this. And you can draw on it and bake it to make your own really small charm. It's really fun and easy. And I've been wanting to make a lot of these and decorate this whole board. It's been two years. I think it's finally time to do it. So I'm actually going to take a whole day today to make as many pins I can. A whole day pin making challenge. Let's get started. Okay, so first off, I'll show you guys how to use these plastic sheets. I actually have a video from five years ago of me explaining how to use these. Can I just make this one thing very clear? I get a lot of comments saying that I'm copying other YouTubers. who I actually very, very love, but I've been doing this for a very long time as well. And I have proof from five years ago. Okay, so let's watch this to kind of refresh my memory. Before you put it into the oven, oh, color it in with a painter marker. So all you have to do is draw using pens, like Posca paint pens, put it in the oven, and then you can coat it with like top coat or other sealers. And then you can put like a phone strap back of the pins to make your own very cute charm. I think we're ready. And enough of the talking because girl, this is going to be another long video. If you know shrink dinks, when you bake it, it turns into a fourth of its size. So I'm kind of eyeballing here so it's not going to be too small or too big. And as always, I'm going to be using my Posca paint pens, give it a quick shake, and first off, I decided to draw my original characters. The first one being Shelly. She is my mermaid that's a maid and I haven't drawn her for a while. Long time to see Shelly. And some quick shrink dink tips. If you're going to use Posca paint pens, be careful, don't go over one spot more than once. If you put too much paint, it'll kind of crumple up and become very crumbly at the end. Even if you think you missed a spot or you see some strokes or you think it's kind of sheer, just leave it, don't go over it again to fix it. It won't really matter anyways because it'll kind of shrink up and the flaws will kind of disappear. Oh, and before I went any further, I decided to test the sides first with Shelly which I should have done before I started drawing the other characters. It's so mesmerizing just looking at them shrink. And yes, I'm using the same exact oven from five years ago, just a bit dirtier. This is how it turned out. I think it's like a little too small. If I make everything this small, it'll take me years to fill up the board. So I decided to restart everything. That's already a few hours down the drain, but here we go again. If you're new here, hi, thank you so much for watching. Shelly is a mermaid that's a maid that works at a palace with her pet octopus named Taco. Oh yes, that's him. He is a flapjack octopus. Flapjack. <laughs> flapjack, that's a weird name. Anyways, he helps her clean the palace. I've drawn them a few times on this channel, but these characters that I'm drawing right now are actually new. It's my first time drawing them. Oh no, a smudge. But I've had them in mind for a very long time. They're like my little creatures. Since it's my first time drawing, they're still like a prototype, kinda. I may change like the color of the eyes or some small designs. The main one is a bear named Kuma, which means bear in Japanese. The second one is a bunny named Bunny, which means, well, bunny in English. I know, I'm so creative. Um, the third one, I don't have a name. It's a frog, so should I name him Froggy? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. And frog in Japanese is Kaeru, but uh, I'm not really feeling that either. Hmm, this is tough. I guess I don't have a name for my third one. Please comment below if you guys have any ideas in mind. I mean, I came up with Shelly's name after all your comments. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys really like them because they will probably show up in my channel from now on. And to the oven we go. Ta-da! Okay, our first batch is complete. 
I'm happy with the size, but the frog's eyes kind of turned out crumbly. Like I said before, don't put too much paint on one spot. But not bad. Let's move on. Oh look, I'm actually using pencil and paper first to make a rough draft. Yes, I basically don't make rough drafts, which I don't really recommend. And hey, I'm using that clear eraser that I bought a few weeks ago. A lot of you guys were wondering how it works, and I have to say, in my opinion, it's interesting, but it's not the best eraser for drawing. It kinda drags the paper and smudges a bit. It works very nicely, but there are better erasers out there. It's a very pretty eraser though. But back to the video, I just don't like making rough drafts. Anyone here with me? It's like drawing the same thing over and over again. When it's like a more detailed character or more complicated artwork, I would definitely sketch it out first. But if it's something like simple, I'd rather just go for it and concentrate on that drawing. Am I making sense? For this batch, I decided to make Disney princesses. And I made a rough draft because I wanted like a base. A base which I could use over and over again so all the princesses will come out the same size and somewhat similar. So, which princess to draw? Snow White, Cinderella, I'm just going with the Disney timeline here. Just a heads up though, I'm not going to draw every single princess. Which I should've, but I got a bit tired of drawing princesses, so I think I made like 6 in total. I'm so sorry if I don't have your favorite princess in here. By the way, another shrink dink tip here. Huh, it's so hard to say. Shrink dink tip here. Okay, after you shrink it, the color will get deeper and darker, so you need to keep that in mind when you're coloring it in. And Posca paint pens don't really have a lot of colors. They only have like the basic colors, so I'm kind of working around with two colors for this skin here. But overall, I think they all turned out so cute, and they are definitely one of my favorites out of all the pens that I made. Oh, they're looking so cute. Wait, when did I smudge my paper? Okay, let's move on. Hmm, so guys, there's a little bit of problem. Because I thought I could make like at least nine characters with each sheet, and it turns out I can make only one to four characters with one sheet, I'm kind of out of them. I mean, I really should have bought more, but you know, things happen, and I think there's only one thing I could do now. <laughs> let's go shopping. Here I am at Shibuya. This place has everything. Some kitchen supplies. Ooh. Oh yes, stationery. I think I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get two just in case. And it's two dollars each. Oh my gosh, what can I use this for? It's so big. Maybe for like DIY earth globes? I should really salt picking. Let's go home. I went on to a quick shrink dink haul and had some ramen. And I am back full and ready. Do you guys know what I'm drawing now? Do you? It's BT21. They are really cute characters that are made by the very popular K-pop band group named BTS. Oh, let me answer some questions that I've got from you guys. I've got a lot of people asking me if I like K-pop or if there are any other idols that I really like. And um, I do listen to a lot of K-pop like Boombaya. Black pink in your area. <laughs> I'm so sorry. They're really pretty, but my current favorite, I have to say, is Eyes One. I followed the whole Produce 48, probably watched it like 10 times. <laughs> so much drama. Okay, so I drew Van, Tata, Koya, and lastly, I decided to draw one more character and I chose Kuki. So I baked them and the paint kind of turned out crumbly. It's okay though because I'm going to cover it up with varnish at the end. Draw me like one of your French girls. 
You know sometimes people ask me how I get my inspirations or ideas on what to draw? And I'm like... Like this. What should I draw next? And after a lot of thinking, I remembered I've gotten a lot of requests from you guys to draw Boku no Hiro. Mr. Beast even recommended Boku no Hiro in his videos once, so if you guys haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend. My favorite character is Tsuyu, but today I decided to draw Deku, the main character. By the way, has anyone noticed my very, very flattering reflection on like every shrink dink? <laughs> so flattering. Let me answer some more questions that I've got from you guys. Okay, so someone asked me, is there a difference in the way you act between your channel in English and your channel in Japanese? If yes, what's the difference between the viewers? Ooh, that's a deep, deep question. Um, hmm. I probably do change what I say and do, but my core personality doesn't change. Obviously, the culture is different, people believe in different things, there are different jokes and different memes. So yes, some things are different. I think I'm a bit more open and straightforward on this channel, but hmm, tell me what you guys think. Aside from Boku no Hero, I've also gotten a lot of requests to draw Emma from The Promised Neverland. Another great manga, and I can't wait for the last book to come out. Ugh. Seriously, so many great stories recently. I had a bit of hard time drawing Emma, probably because she's made from very light colors like peach, white, and yellow. And if you don't know, each Posca paint pens dry differently. And it seems like the lighter the color, the longer it takes to fully dry. White takes forever to dry, and when I try to draw other parts, I keep on accidentally brushing off the white, getting it on my hands and everywhere, like I don't even know how I get it on my face, but I do. So I've been drawing and drawing for the whole day, and this turns out to be my last drawing. For my last drawing, I decided to draw Maya, another character of mine. I drew her in my last video, and I actually quite liked her design. And I think I have time for one last question to answer. Do you like sweet food? Yes, of course. Okay, one more question. Do you still want to write manga? I really, really wanted to draw manga at one point in my life. I mean, I probably grew up wanting to become a manga artist. And then I became a YouTuber. Being a full-time YouTuber is quite time-consuming, and since it's so much fun making videos, I haven't really thought about making manga. But yes, if I have the time and the right moment comes, I would like to try it one day. I believe that every single thing you dream of will come true, and if I ever do draw manga, I really hope that you guys will be around with me to celebrate. So now I'm finished, I decided to put a coat of varnish, and I'm trying it on the first shelly to see if the varnish won't smudge. It's my guinea pig. And since it seems alright, I went and put loads of coat of varnish on each of them. I think I put at least 3 coats to make it extra puffy and glossy. You could also use resin, but I just wanted to try out my new varnish. And at the very end, I've got some back of the pins that I got on Amazon and glued it with super glue. I let it rest for the night and we are done. And this is how it turned out. What do you guys think? Um, I made about like 20 pins, but it didn't fill up the board at all. And I think I need to do this at least three more times to fill up this board. 
So if you guys liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and a comment below. And I may do this again. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!